charities and it comes to heavy metal, we, we have a community here and that's one of the great things about it is that we are a group, uh, we are individuals that together make that group and, and we all have the, you know, uh, I, I think the same motivations when we get together we explode. And I think that this is probably one of the most giving communities that we have with regard to music because we think of it, uh, not to be corny, but we do think of it family-like. So I'm involved, my, my pet charity is, uh, is one called Rock Against Dystrophy. Um, I met uh, the founder of this, uh, Turbo. Uh, you can see him at uh, turborules.com. Uh, but this is uh, something that I've been involved in now for a few years with uh, Mark Tornillo of Accept. Uh, he's another Jersey guy, Turbo's a guy from Queens, and we get a whole bunch of people together and we do these benefits uh, where we will <coughs> donate, uh, uh, you know, raise money for, for the foundation. Uh, this is the only musical-based um, uh, foundation for muscular dystrophy. And it, it, it's a great thing. We do two or three gigs a year, uh, one in New York, two in Jersey, two in New York, one in Jersey over the course of the year, and get great people involved. I mean, we had Bumblefoot from Guns N' Roses uh, at the last one. We had uh, Mike Portnoy was there. And we all get together and play these cover songs, you know, just kind of like inserting a singer and pulling a singer out. Mark and I are going up there. I went up and actually sang some Old Sabbath and I turned around and Mark Tornillo was playing the bass and I was thinking to myself, I said, boy, you are just a man of many different hats, aren't you? But Rock Against Dystrophy is my, uh, that's my pet project and I've been involved in it now for uh, about a three year period. Keep it close and ham, so murderous a sin.